Welcome once again to this short informal tutorials on how to use Bioflow. In the past video, we look at how to upload your data. And this time I'm gonna focus on just showing you how to save your data and analysis. So before we noticed that, you know, we retrieved phenotypic information, genotypic pedigree, QTL profile and weather information. And I just did it using the example data sets that are included in the, in the software. Um, so now all the information is actually there. I already matched the columns as I showed. And let's assume for a minute that, you know, you need to leave and um, you want to just uh, say what you have done and come back later. For that, you just have to go and click on save analysis under the data management menu. And then you have to assign a name to your analysis. So in this case, we have not done any analysis, but at least we already uploaded the data. And then you can say, um, I'm gonna call this just example data upload. You can call it as you want. Then you just click on save. And then you will notice that something goes to your downloads. In this case, it's a extension.rdata file. Then I need to leave and you know, imagine that I come back the next day. So of course, when I open the software, now there's no information there. You can see it. Um, and then what I have to do is to just retrieve an old analysis. Under data management, you click on the second option, which is retrieve old analysis. Then I can upload the file that I saved before. I click on load object and you will receive a success message that the object has been uploaded. And then we can proceed to the next uh, analysis module. You will notice that when you move to the next module, the data will be there. As you will see in the status message, data is complete, please proceed to identify outliers. But I'm going to leave that for our next video showing how to detect outliers. Here, I just wanted to show you how to save and retrieve all the analysis. You can do this at any point during the workflow. Maybe you finalize the single trial analysis and QA, but now you have to leave when you go again, and then you know assign a new name or the same name, and then you save that file. So I hope this was useful. If you have uh, inform you know, some particular um, information that you want to know or questions. Like I said before, don't hesitate to go to About Us under the Home menu, Contact and Development, and you can contact us by clicking on the Support Desk. Take care and good luck with your analysis.